Adam and Ryan, two brothers who had built their livelihood on the hard, gritty business of industrial dismantling, had just secured their most massive acquisition yet. It was the entire winding mechanism of a long-abandoned, deep-shaft copper mine, the colossal machine known as a mine hoist. This immense structure, composed of massive gears, thick steel cables, and its central component, a truly gigantic electric motor, was bought for a calculated sum based solely on the rising market price of bulk scrap iron. The brothers assumed the large electric motor, the absolute heart of the hoist mechanism, was an obsolete piece of junk. They knew the copper windings would have been stripped by thieves decades ago, leaving them only with the difficult task of cutting the enormous iron shell into manageable pieces. The worth of the entire hoist, in their estimation, lay only in its sheer, heavy volume, not in any hidden value. Yet, the story of this specific motor, sealed by decades of abandonment, was about to rewrite their understanding of industrial worth. The motor was not obsolete, it was classified. The first days were spent securing the site and rigging the massive hoisting drum for removal. The focus then shifted to the electric motor itself. It was a beast of old-world engineering, a titanic cylinder of cast iron that stood nearly fifteen feet high. As they meticulously began the slow, arduous process of preparing the motor for sectioning, using specialized non-ferrous scanners to locate potential wiring pockets, they discovered an immediate, profound anomaly. The motor casing, specifically the central stator housing, registered a density far exceeding what was expected for standard laminated iron core construction. This suggested a secondary, concealed mass inside the motor itself. The behemoth was heavier than its blueprints dictated. They located the discrepancy near the motor's internal cooling fins. The fins were non-standard, cast from a unique, highly polished alloy that resisted corrosion, entirely unlike the rough cast iron surrounding them. The fins were actually a cleverly concealed access point. Utilizing high-frequency sonic tools, the brothers determined that the area behind these fins was hollow, indicating a sealed compartment engineered directly into the rotor's magnetic field housing. This motor was a deliberately designed vault, intended to survive the harshest industrial environment and decades of neglect. The builders had created the perfect industrial camouflage. The realization that they were standing before a classified, internal vault inside a massive industrial motor was overwhelming. The sheer complexity required specialized resources and capital to safely breach. This is where the crucial support of their global audience comes into play. The Archive Twins need to break through the final steel barrier, and this unique investigation is critically dependent on their viewers. We are so close to hitting 5,000 subscribers, and we need to smash that goal ASAP. If you haven't already, please show your support for the Hunt for History and hit that like button, subscribe, and definitely leave a super gracias to directly support the immense effort required for this complex salvage operation. It makes a massive difference in continuing this series. Also, drop a comment below and let us know where in the world you're watching this video from. We love seeing how far our industrial explorations travel. Now, back to the massive electric motor that stood between the brothers and a fortune. The brothers utilized precision plasma cutting to remove the unusual alloy fins, revealing a perfectly circular inspection hatch bolted into the rotor housing. The bolts were obsolete military-grade alloy, confirming the motor's classified origins. They carefully unsealed the bolts, and the hatch groaned open. A rush of cold, dry, sterile air escaped the motor's core. The chamber was not large, but it was pristine, lined with specialized magnetic shielding and filled with a cache of unique, dense metallic components. The contents of the motor's secret vault were technological gold. The chamber was packed with hundreds of small, heavy blocks of metallic alloy, each sealed in specialized vacuum-sealed pouches. The blocks were an unusual, silvery-white metal, not gold, not copper, but a material that registered extraordinary conductivity on their meters. This was confirmed to be a massive stockpile of rare earth superconducting alloys, vital for advanced magnetic and energy storage applications. This material was priceless, far exceeding the value of any conventional gold or copper. Alongside the metal blocks were the true classified assets, 
a stack of heavily protected technical schematics and documents. The header on the first blueprint read, Project Orion, Electrodynamic Prototype. The documents detailed the motor's original purpose. It was not built for a mine hoist, but as the experimental core of a massive, classified superconducting energy storage system developed during the peak of the Cold War. The mine hoist was merely its disposable, large-scale cover. The unique alloy blocks were the raw, superconducting material necessary for the motor's secret function. The entire motor was a failed, but critically valuable, technological prototype, its worth derived from the strategic materials hidden in its core. The documents revealed the motor was secretly sold off as scrap when the project was abruptly cancelled, and the materials, too sensitive to destroy but too valuable to simply discard, were permanently sealed inside the motor's core by the project's chief engineer. The motor was engineered as its own final, impenetrable vault. The brothers' initial calculation of scrap iron value had suddenly been replaced by a multi-million dollar valuation based on rare earth strategic alloys and classified technology. They realized selling the motor for scrap iron would have been a catastrophic mistake, destroying a piece of scientific history. The discovery of the Project Orion prototype and the massive cache of rare earth superconducting alloys instantly escalated the situation to the highest levels of government and defense. The materials were confirmed to be strategically vital and highly regulated. The brothers, Adam and Ryan, secured the motor and immediately contacted specialized legal counsel, presenting the technical schematics and a sample of the unique metal. They were now holding the key to a decades-old technological secret. The Department of Energy and specialized defense contractors immediately initiated negotiations. The military interest in the prototype and the sheer volume of the superconducting alloy was enormous. The material was essential for advanced, modern applications in quantum computing and energy transmission. The government needed immediate, undisputed, quiet access to the materials and the classified schematics to study the forgotten technology. The motor, which the brothers legally owned, was the box holding the intellectual property. The final valuation of the recovered assets was astonishing. The unique technological schematics and the rare earth superconducting alloys, critical materials unavailable in such quantities on the open market, were collectively valued by defense experts at over 80 million U.S. dollars. The government could not seize the property without massive public disclosure and legal complexity, so they chose to purchase the entire asset package from the brothers. The final monetary settlement awarded to Adam and Ryan for the motor, the schematics, and the entire stock of strategic alloys totaled an astonishing 18 million U.S. dollars. The massive payoff was certified as clean, legal compensation for their honesty, expertise, and the retrieval of highly valuable national assets. The scrap hoist motor had yielded a fortune. The brothers used the funds to permanently move out of the volatile scrap business and establish a high-tech industrial forensics and classified salvage firm. They became leading consultants for museums and government agencies, specializing in the recovery of abandoned technological assets. They preserved the colossal electric motor, turning it into a monument at their new headquarters, with the open vault showcasing the unique alloy lining that once protected the massive fortune. They realized that their eye for industrial salvage had not just made them millionaires, it had made them guardians of a lost chapter of technological history. This astonishing recovery, driven by sheer expertise and the anomaly of a single cooling fin, proves that the greatest fortunes and technological secrets are often hidden in the massive, inert industrial machinery that everyone else dismisses as worthless scrap. If you want to see more complex engineering, untraced strategic assets, and unbelievable stories of sudden wealth, make sure you show your support. We are already well past 5,000 subscribers and we are moving towards 10,000. Every like and share helps us fund the next massive salvage operation. Hit that like button, subscribe, and definitely leave a super gracias to help us keep this incredible historical investigation going. Tell us, where in the world are you watching this stunning discovery from? Join the Archive Twins for the next Industrial Fortune.